As we continue connecting with neighbors in the 32825 zip code, we wanted to talk to the leaders who represent you there. Yeah, Congressman Darren Soto's district includes a portion of that zip code. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld sat down with the congressman to talk about the issues most important to residents there. We have a thousand people moving to Central Florida every week, and I'm sure many of them would be thrilled to live in 32825. 32825, population more than 63,000 plus and counting. Congressman Darren Soto has a portion just south of Curry Ford Road. That's part of his District 9. Always have to have the next few big things. We stop by to talk about the challenges facing his constituents and his office. Flooding and home affordability are, are two key issues. You're working on Capitol Hill to bring us money to this area, 32825. Uh, are, are you close? Yeah, so it's funding that's already in the House budget for the 2024 budget. My hope is we'll get it passed by March. He's talking about the East Orlando Flood Control Project. Target, $2.5 million in federal funding. We know that Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Irma uh, sadly aren't the last hurricanes that are going to hit Central Florida. So we, we need to be ready, and that's what these projects we're working on with Orlando are all about. And then what about cost of living and home insurance? Have they addressed, they said, Congressman, you know, this is getting to us? So no doubt home affordability becomes a challenge. And it's a double-edged sword. If you own a home already, your house went up 40 percent. But if you didn't buy a house yet or you're renting and you're a first-time home buyer, it's a challenge. East Orlando is a very popular place to live right now. They have uh, Lockheed Martin and the simulation training cluster at UCF within a short commute. So a lot of jobs, good infrastructure there, but affordability will continue to be a challenge because people want to live there. And that leads me to my next question, the cost of living, going to the grocery store. We all see it. We're getting a little bit of sticker shock. Do your constituents talk to you about that as well? Absolutely. It's one of the reasons I fought to get on the Ag Committee um, because we're working on a farm bill that will help out with food assistance. It'll help with lowering food costs and it will also help farmers, growers, ranchers um, be able to uh, help feed America. Are you optimistic on the future for 32825? Of course I am. How could you not be? People are, are clamoring to get into East Orlando. That may surprise folks who are there 20, 30 years, but uh, uh, it's got great resources in that it's close to downtown, it's close to 408, and it certainly has its challenges of making it more affordable for new families coming in. And then of course, flooding will be the main thing I'll be working on for the foreseeable future. Congressman Soto had talked about a farm bill. Well, the current farm bill doesn't expire until September 30th. The hope is that the funding is in place before it runs out. Mike Hofeld getting results, News 6. Next Wednesday, WKMG hits the road in that 32825 area code, zip code there to reopen our golf. We'll be doing our newscast live from the clubhouse. Stop by any time between 4 and 7 p.m. to meet the anchors, share your stories with our investigators. We'll also have the chance to get your hands on some News 6 swag. We look forward to seeing you out there.